because so many women are concerned about too much saturated fat in daily meals. When it comes to losing weight, we're bombarded with conflicting advice. This is the amount of fat in that whole pizza. But fat has long been seen as the enemy. If you eat too much of this, then over time fatty deposits could build up in your arteries. Which is why this consultant cardiologist has created a stir by claiming low-fat food can have disastrous consequences. It's very clear the low-fat message has not helped public health, it's not reduced heart disease, and in fact it's fueling an epidemic of type 2 diabetes and obesity. The report from the National Obesity Forum calls for us to stop counting calories, ignoring the existing guidelines to stick to 2,000 daily for women and 2,500 for men. And it says limiting carbohydrates can prevent or reverse type 2 diabetes. The current advice is that only weight loss and exercise are effective. But the report looks at cases like Nigel's, a type 2 diabetic who's come off insulin and lost three stone since his GP put him on a low-carb, high-fat diet. I feel so much better. I have so much more energy. And people have said, you know, you've been transformed in how you are and, and, and how you look. Um, and that's great. You know, it's, it's wonderful. Proof you can eat fat to stay thin? Not according to the many scientists who've been quick to point out the advice we currently get comes from a robust review of all the available evidence. The fear now is that as a nation, our confusion over what to eat will spiral as fast as our weight. The real problem is when you start telling people it actually doesn't matter how much you eat, whether you're having lots of calories or a few calories, and whether you're eating lots of fat. That really does matter because the, the evidence points very much to you then putting yourself at risk from heart disease. It may not be what we want to hear, but the evidence you can lose weight by eating more fat remains, for now at least, rather on the thin side. Rachel Younger, ITV News.